This is a dive I did post red tide in October. And here was this huge beam on the north end of the wreck, possibly a piece of the ship. As you can see, it's very old and it looks like something they might have used in the boat. Um, this is the north end. As we swim south, you'll see there's lots of fish and you got these striped angel fish. And then we come upon the ribs of the boat which is the side of the boat, which is jutting out of the water. And that runs a couple hundred feet up to the boiler. Now the boiler is the one part of the wreck that seems to always survive any of the beach nourishment programs and juts out about eight to 10 feet from the uh, ocean's bottom. And as you can see, there's lots of lobster holes in here and lots of life on it, lots of fish. And there's another big round boiler next to it. As you go south, you find the big wheel. It looks like it part, was part of the engine at one time. And they're jutting out lots of fish. And as you can see, there's a long shaft that hooks onto this uh, wheel that was probably part of the steamship because it was a steamship schooner sunk in the hurricane in 1903, September 11th, called the Encholva, of course. Better go up and get a breath. Come on back down, take a look and see what's down here. As you can see, lots of fish. And I see a tail of a stingray. Now, I think this is the one I've been seeing out there over the last couple of weeks. And again, many fish. Here's the stingray again as we pass over them. And then the wheel. And this juts out, and usually you can find this any time during the year. It's just off of the Seagate Hotel, about 150 yards out. And um, not a lot of fish, but it's good to see that there's a lot of fish alive because I was worried that the red tide may have killed many of them. And uh, here's a little fella. Check him out. Bam! What's going on? Oh, there he goes. All right, and that's pretty much the Delray wreck. There's a little view from going up the shaft to the wheel. And again, on the other side of it, you can see there's very, very good habitat for fish and other uh, marine life. And you know, I think that to most animals, we must appear to be terrorists. Here's a hog snapper that somebody shot with a spear gun, and apparently he must have got away and died. And as you can see, there's a, there's a big hole in the side where the tip of the spear hit him and somehow he got away but he still he didn't make it unfortunately what are you gonna do and look at this guy going right through the recreation area in his boat full speed people snorkeling on the wreck how would you like to get hit by his propellers crazy huh if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and check out this other cool video of the Delray Wreck.